What's going on, Squirrel Squad? How you doing? It's your boy, the Squirrel. It is for Ronnie's Friday. That's right. For Ronnie's Friday today, where we do two episodes of the Two Ronnie Show. This one's called Name Droppers. It's a little three minute and 40 second bit. And let's get into this and see who's dropping whose name and what this is all about. If it's your first time here, don't forget to hit the subscription button. And feel free to check out the, the, two, the two Ronnies playlist from these four Ronnies Fridays we've been doing for a long time. Lots of episodes of two Ronnies in here. Enjoy them. All right, it's time. Let's do this. Yes, well, of course, I don't know what Gower and Botham use on their cricket bats. I suppose things have all changed since my young day, but I always advocated the use of Lindsay Doyle. Now, good heavens, is he still around? A bigger one. Lindsay Doyle. <laughs> Lindsay Doyle, is he still around? He's a very dear friend of mine. I haven't seen him for ages. How is he? No, I'm awfully sorry. You're misunderstanding. Uh, it, I was just talking about the, the use of linseed oil on cricket bats. Oh, I'm very sorry. Sorry, I, sorry, I didn't realise. I should <laughs> be trying. Would you carry on? Yes, sorry, please do continue. No, no, I think our pitch, of course, isn't, isn't ideal, but I determined. Come hell or high water. Good heavens, do you know her? <laughs> Come in the high water. Do you know her? Come in the high water. What? Very, very dear friend of mine. Excuse me, will you forgive me? Would you forgive me? I'm addressing my remarks. Oh, hello, Myra. Saw... <laughs> <laughs> Rodney Corbett thinks everything's a name. Oh, uh, that's great. May I, may, I, may I call you Myra? Uh, Miss Mark somehow seems sort of quite formal, doesn't it? Myra, if you don't mind. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Forgive me. Carry on your conversation. Any more you'd like to meet? Oh, yes, Annie. Hello, Annie. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> Lovely to meet you. Look, is there nothing I say that doesn't remind you of someone you know? Well, I'm sorry. I didn't. No, it's all right. <clears throat> now, what was I saying? Oh, yes, this is... um. This is sangria, isn't it? It's awfully intoxicating drink, you know, sangria. Mind you, I'm the sort of character that gets giddy on shandy. Giddy on shandy? <laughs> <laughs> giddy on shandy? <laughs> Look at this. Ronnie's all proper. Ronnie Corbett's like, you gonna bite? <laughs> <laughs> I have to be very careful. Pick my words very carefully, because I can see more coming. See more coming. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone seen the new show at the Opera House? The Barbara Seville. <laughs> At the risk of being called a Philistine, I would say that it's fully Des Irving of its bad reviews. I love how they're working all these names in there. Um, and I'm sure that these are names of older actors and actresses from the UK who I've not heard of. But um, it's pretty... Uh, it's the, That's the linguistics of these guys. That's what... I mean, that's what everyone fell in love with, I bet. <laughs> no, I think we're all right now. <laughs> what was I saying? Oh, yes, the pitch, yes, the pitch. I actually caught a child playing soccer on it the other day. I did, yes. Well, of course, I was forced to order him off it. Order him off it? Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're becoming a perfect albatross. Oh, how nice of you, albatross. How very nice of you. Oh, he was a sweetie, albatross. If there's anybody in the whole wide world I'd care to be compared to, it is he. You see, it's all to no avail. No avail? Did he mention me, then? <laughs> no avail. You can call me Noah, if you like. Noah. It's much more friendly. You know, considering how many people and friends we have in common, I think we ought to get together one evening. What about tomorrow night? Tomorrow night? Oh, yes, I know her very well. Strange you should have a, a Russian first name, isn't it? Uh, tomorrow night, considering she comes from Stepney. Look, Friday, dinner, my place. You know, I'm rather good in the kitchen. I always feel a meal you cook yourself. Yes, Amelia cook. That's who I'm having dinner. Well, you can't be. She died last week. Shirley not. Shirley not was at the funeral. <laughs> you tell you. Look, Shirley not is, I mean, is the one I'm coming to dinner with. Yes, Shirley not is. I've known her for years, ever since I used to spot her at the Buxton. Used to spot her at the Buxton? Good heavens, no, they after him. Goodness me, she's the man she's going to marry. Oh, <laughs> rather him than me. Good heavens. I mean, she's a tart. I mean, until recently, she was the red light district's Lois Turner. Oh, I think that's rather fair on Lois Turner. <laughs> Lois Turner's rather nice, I always think. I'm rather well-groomed. I always feel her hair's very Natalie Dunn. Well, simply because Natalie Dunn's a very good hairdresser. <laughs> he's, he's talking about the red light district, and all I can think is, wait a second, is that uh, Armstrong's uh, grandmother he's talking about? Hmm. The trouble with Natalie Dunn is she can't do anything without consulting her horoscope. Horoscope? Horace, Horace Cope. Cope, that twit. <laughs> Don't tell me she moves in his moronic orbit. Ronic orbit? Who's Ronic orbit? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, no, and I've had enough. Are we going to stand here and let them bore us rigid? Let's go and see that guy standing over there. 
Where's Richard? Who's guy standing? Well, who's Boris Richard? Uh, name, name droppers. droppers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, these guys were really funny, but they were amazing with the, with the language, the English language. They were the masters of it. And I talked about this before, and this, again, just takes it to another level and proves it again. You know, you go through the speed talking, the rhyming, the cockney slang, just everything these two geniuses did together. It's oh it's just gold. So this was nice. The name droppers was fun. It was funny. It was it was good to try to catch the name and then try to determine whether or not that was gonna be the name that he was gonna jump on and pretty cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope that this brought up some great memories for some of you folks who may have seen this before. I hope you enjoyed the commentary and the reaction. I will catch you soon. Thank you always for being here, Squirrel Squad. I am the Squirrel. You are the Squad. Together, we are the Squirrel Squad. You guys be good. Take care of yourselves. Take care of somebody that you don't even know just for, you know, a reason to be nice. Why not? It doesn't hurt to be nice. It really doesn't. Squirrel out. <laughs>